So, what I would like to show you, the first demo is uh, the H264 playback. <coughs> Uh, it's you know it's built now inside of the Windows. Uh, the Windows can from media player accelerate uh, H.264. So I have here on the Intel system the 1080p movie is the Star Trek trailer and the same movie I will run here. You see that it's the far from to be early smooth. The same movie at the start on the mini system by the way much faster even the start and you see here it's without any fun workers you can easily watch the HD content in the big plasma in the evening with the HD and coming back to your home no fun jobs Just to show you the difference in the load of the CPU, and this is the main reason why the video on the Intel system is not so smooth. We have now around 30% CPU load, and here, when you play the video, besides that the system is not so responsive as it should be, we have here 100% CPU load, which means that. It's very difficult to do anything on the system besides the playing of videos here. You can easily do the other things here. You can do a video in the background or you do it on emails, for example, you can switch it. The system is very responsive. Generally, it's very responsive when you're working because the GPU doing lots of the stuff in the background, which doesn't work here. And here, it's, you know, it's a very typical netbook experience. Here, it's very hard to recognize difference between the notebook and netbook. So I think easily be with this product, the HP is you know, something like the killing book because you can easily sell it. Yes. Does every uh, movie player support the uh, hardware uh, support by the GPU? You know, uh, and Windows 7, Windows Media Player support H.264 acceleration and a couple of other codecs, but uh, uh, it uh, depends on the other players, most of them yes. I mean, the, the best players on the market like Cyberlink, Intervideo, Arcsoft, these are supported. Uh, of course, uh, I'm not sure if there is hundreds of players, so maybe some of them not there, but I'm a place that most people are using for sure. And, uh, you know, if you don't have uh, support uh, in the Windows, you can do other things because uh, just to show you that it's not only about uh, H.264 support, it's supporting almost every format. Uh, because of Windows Media Player Classic, you know, it's just free uh, player with DirectX Video Acceleration, which can support the GPU. And this is very important, for example, for X264 iOS MKV container, which is becoming very popular. I download, uh, I download from internet uh, one uh, underground free movie uh, just to show you how does it work. It's about to demonstrate we are able to play any format you can imagine. The same on Intel, it's quite difficult, maybe let me start it again and you see the difference. So I have here this short clip, same here. Only when you're opening a movie, I will click here on the movie and starting here and here you see it's much faster. You are already playing and it's still opening. And it's now about <laughs> acceleration itself. Then you see the, the difference in the system response. This is 1080p clip of some kind of independent movie, independent CG movie. You can download it, I think, on the MKV website. There are a couple of clips you can download. Um, so in Windows 7 you use the DirectX video acceleration? No, I'm saying uh, on the Windows 7 natively, in the, in the Windows Media Player support H.264, yeah. but if the format is not supported in the Windows, you can use, use Windows Media Player Classic yeah. with DirectX Video yeah. Acceleration. Okay, so, this is, so I am, um, can uh, provide DirectX Video is, Acceleration? Sure, sure. That's any other GPU. Okay. I mean, this is 
you know, the problem is that when you have a normal GPU on your PC, like uh, the GeForce on the, on the notebook, that's not a big deal because everyone has support their video acceleration. But uh, it's a big deal on the netbook side, say, because Intel doesn't support this. And then you're changing if you support, uh, if you have a supporter yes. IO, it's completely changing the landscape how you can look at the netbook side. Mm -hmm. And um, using Windows XP? Uh, Windows XP, uh, to be honest, it should work as well. It should work. Uh, I mean, I didn't test it. I have a Windows 7 here, but DirectX video acceleration should work on the Windows okay. I know that there can be maybe some limitation, but it should work here. Yeah. Okay. And it's all supported by the NVIDIA video processor, so uh, all GeForce and I and the you see the difference. have that. And that's a small part of our GPU, so it even uses less than one watt. So uh, you're getting a longer battery life because uh, uh, the ad time that is normally running at 100% goes to 20%. Responding. So you, you're saving a lot of energy on the, on the CPU side and on the GPU you're not uh, putting much on top. That's, that's the, for example, uh, important for the battery life here. Because when you play the video and you play it in Atom, uh, such a video easily can load the CPU with almost 100% uh, load and then uh, when you play on the ION, it's the difference because uh, our uh, video processor inside of the ION consuming much less power than the Atom. It means that in, you can have a theoretically much longer battery life for playing with movies. Yeah. Have you got any figures on this? Well, I didn't measure it by myself, but it's very, it's very visible when you... I, now I'm just traveling with the netbook for 14 days and when I'm watching, for example, in the playing the videos and I watch for two hours a video, I have more than 50% battery life still okay. So. It's, it's for sure, but I didn't measure anything. <laughs>